Hi everyone, welcome to our classes. In today's class, we are going to learn about uh, the teaching aptitude. Based on this, uh, there are uh, some questions which are asked in the previous examination 2015. Let's look at the questions then. In the previous video, we have discussed about uh, the questions which are asked in 2016, 17 and 18. Today, we are going to discuss about the questions which are asked in 2014 and 15. And uh, look at question number one. Greater the handicap of the students coming to the educational institution, greater the demand on the teachers. Okay, the right answer is teacher. Uh, what are the characteristics of continuous and comprehensive evaluation? Uh, it increases the workload on students by taking multiple tests and it replaces marks with grades. It evaluates every aspect of the students and it helps in reducing examination phobia. Here I think the B, C, D. Uh, is the right one let's look at the answer then okay as it is uh, the b c d it replaces marks uh, with grades and it evaluates uh, every aspects of the students and it helps in reducing the exam phobia okay let's move on to question number three which of the following attributes uh, denotes a great strength of a teacher uh, it's uh, full-time active involvement in the institutional management setting examples Willingness to put assumptions to the test and acknowledging mistakes. The right option is option B. That is, uh, again, uh, the setting examples. Willingness to put assumptions to the test and acknowledging mistakes. Okay, and let's move on to the question number four. Which of the following statements is correct in the context of uh, multiple choice type questions? They are more objective than true, false type questions, they are less subjective than S type questions, they are more subjective than short answer type questions and they are more subjective than true or false type questions. The right one is option A, that is they are more objective than true or false type questions. And uh, look at the question number 5. As chairman of an independent commission on education, Jacques Deller's reports to the UNESCO was titled International Commission on Education Report, a Millennium Development Report, Learning, the Treasure Within, uh, the World Declaration on Education for All. Here the right one is answer C, that is uh, learning, the treasure within. Okay, what are uh, required for good teaching? Okay, here the right one is option A, that is a diagnosis. Okay, then let's move on to question number 7. The main objectives of uh, student evaluation of teachers are to gather information about student weaknesses, to make teachers take teaching seriously, to help teachers adopt innovative methods of teaching, or to identify the areas of further implementing teacher traits. Here the best option is option B, that is the B, C, D. Okay, to make teachers take teaching seriously, to help teachers adopt innovative methods of teaching, and to identify the areas of further implementing teacher traits. And question number eight, using central point of the classroom communication as the beginning of a dynamic pattern of ideas is referred to as systemization, problem orientation, ideal idea protocol or mind mapping. It's a mind mapping. Option D, it's mind mapping. And look at question number nine, then attitudes, actions and appearances in the context of classroom communication are considered as Verbal, non-verbal, impersonal or relation? The answer is uh, option B, that is non-verbal. And most often the teacher-student communication is spurious, critical, utilitarian or confrontational. That is option C, the utilitarian. Okay. Let's move on to question number 11. In a classroom, a communicator's trust level is determined by the use of hyperbole, the change of voice level, the use of abstract concept, or eye contact, I hope. And the right one is the eye contact, not answer D. And uh, now the questions uh, which are asked uh, in uh, net examination 2015 June. The first one is, which of the following is the highest level of uh, cognitive ability? There's knowing, understanding, analyzing or evaluating. The answer is, that is evaluating. Let's move on to question number two, which of the following factors does not impact teaching? Classroom activities that encourage learning, a socio-economic background of teachers and students, learning through experience 
or teachers knowledge the right answer is that is the socio economic background of teachers and students and which of the following statements about teaching aids are correct they help in retaining concept for longer duration they help students learn better they make teaching learning process interesting they enhance rote learning here the right one is option b that is abc they help in retaining concepts for longer duration of course it is very effective and that it helps the students to learn better the understand the understanding it takes in a better way and they make teaching learning process interesting and successful let's move on to question number 4 that is techniques used by teacher to teach include lecturer interactive lecturer group work self study here i think it's uh, option b that is uh, interactive lecturer is the best one it is uh, it, it gives a lot of room or uh, options uh, to the learners to take active part in the teaching and uh, achievement tests are commonly used for the purpose of making selection for a specific job selecting candidates for a course identifying strength and weakness of learners then assessing the amount of learning after teaching here uh, uh, achievement tests are re- commonly conducted to address the amount of learning after teaching okay that is option d a good teacher is one who gives a useful information explains concepts and principles gives printed notes to students inspires students to learn here option d i think yes option d He inspires the learners to learn okay and uh, let's move on to the questions which are asked in 2014 at december examination uh, the maximum participation of students during teaching is possible through lecture method demonstration method inductive method a textbook method i think the right one is the inductive method okay and let's move on to the question number 2 that is diagnostic evaluation ascertains students performance at the beginning of the instructions and learning progress and failures during instructions degree of achievements of instruction at the end the causes and remedies of persistent learning problems during instruction the right one is option d that is the causes and remedies of uh, persistent learning problems during instructions then instructional aids are used by the teacher to glorify the class attract the students clarify the concept and ensure discipline here the right one is the clarify the concept of the particular topic and let's move on to the next question that is attitude of a teacher that affects the teaching pertains to affective domain cognitive domain cognitive domain and psychomotor domain here it is option a affective domain education is the manifestation of perfection already in man was stated by the great patriotic monk of india whom we call as uh, swami vivekananda he said that education is the manifestation of perfection already in man and uh, which of the following is not a prescribed level of teaching memory understanding reflective and differentiation here uh, option is d that is a differentiation it is not a prescribed level of teaching and in the classroom the teacher sends the messages either as words or images the students are really encoders decoders hesitators or propagators here the correct one is the option b that is decoders they will decode it and they will understand it a smart classroom is a teaching space which has smart portion with a touch panel control system pc or laptop connection and dvd or vcr player document camera and specialized software projector and screen i hope that uh, all these uh, they involve 1 2 3 and 4 that is in option d is the right one and uh, questions based on uh, net examination 2014 june which of the following one uh, which are uh, which one of the following is considered a sign of motivated teaching students asking questions maximum attendance of students pin drop silence in the classroom student taking notes no not at all here the right option is the student asking questions uh, when they are uh, given freedom to ask the question so that they clear the doubts and the better understanding and better comprehension of the text takes place and which one of the following is the best method of teaching lecture discussion demonstration or narration 
it's automatically a demonstration that is uh, uh, it is the best method of teaching and dyslexia is associated with the mental disorder behavioral disorder reading disorder or writing it is related to the reading disorder okay option c and let's move on to the question the e content generation for undergraduate courses has been assigned by the ministry of human resource development to that is implement or Consortium for Educational Communication, National Knowledge Commission, or Indira Gandhi National Open University. Here uh, the option B, that is the Consortium for Educational Communication. Here the Consortium means Association or Organization set up to do that particular task. That is the option B. Then the classroom communication is normally considered as effective, cognitive, affective or selective. The right one is the affective one. And let's move on to the next question that is uh, who among the following uh, propounded the concept of paradigm? Here, the paradigm means the conceptual framework. There's a uh, Peter Haggett, Juan Tuhenen, Thomas Kuhn, John K. Wright. Here, the right answer is option C. That is Thomas Kuhn. Uh, this is the right one. I hope that I tried today in my class to uh, clarify uh, these doubts and discuss with you the questions which are asked in the. 2014 and 15 and uh, in the next video we are going to discuss about the questions which are asked in 2012 13 11 10 okay so that uh, until then watch the video and uh, share the video with your friends till then take care thank you bye